Thanksgiving is a beautiful time of the year because it gives us time to be with family, to thank the good Lord for all the blessings He has given us, and also preparing us really for Christmas time. So it's a very special time. Today we're very honored to have our very own celebrity chef, Mr. Larry Delgado. Welcome, yes. Mr. Chef. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You know, he's an award winner because he's pretty darn good at what he does. Uh, he's, I dabble. <laughs> he's, he's got some great ideas here as to how to help you, you know, celebrate and have some neat things here for your family. So, Larry, tell us about it. We've got a couple of, of, of things here to include uh, the children, include Absolutely. kids, include everybody who now wants children to Children are a big part of the family. Absolutely. So great. Yeah, so this is the one time, I think, with these two ideas that you can actually play with your food. Here's something like for breakfast that the kids can get involved with. We call them wise owls. Wise owls. Because oh. it's a wise idea to have something healthy right after that big Thanksgiving feast, hey, don't you talk think? Talk to me, talk to me, Larry. Thank you. So we'll start out with uh, with these multi-grain rolls. You buy these at the grocery store, they split right in half. And this is a real simple thing kids can do. You just need these rolls, a little bit of peanut butter, strawberries, and uh, uh, bananas. Okay. The next two slices, give us some feathers and voila kids have a nice there healthy you breakfast hey. and you've got your wise owl breakfast there that for you pretty neat. so here's another fun idea this is a, a platter we can do with charcuterie or, or a meat and cheese platter we've got sal all the ingredients you see here some salami american cheese some colby colby jack cheese uh, and uh, sharp cheddar uh pepperoni and you you can see we've kind of got the uh, makings of feathers for a turkey, right? And we finish that off with a turkey head. Oh, okay. And you take a Let's pear. See Let's see that. You know, everything here I, I like. And this is fun to do, and it's fun to, certainly fun to eat. Something you can put out on, on, uh, on the table pre-dinner for Thanksgiving so everybody can snack on. So again, we start off with that pear, and uh, I've taken the liberty of making these cute little eye eyes out of cheese and there you have it ladies and gentlemen we've got raisins to finish the eyes so there we have uh, our turkey charcuterie plate our wise owl breakfast and uh these are just a few tips and ideas to get the kiddos involved and get the whole family involved in cooking your thanksgiving feast you know what I, I, i'm glad you invited me here and thank you for having me uh, i'd like to share just a few tips and ideas Please. for for uh, handling your turkey, preparing your turkey. Now, I absolutely believe that the best thing to do is pull your turkey out three days before Thanksgiving into your cooler. And what's important to do is wrap it in a, in a, in a leak-proof bag. You don't want any of that, uh, any of the, the, the water or the juices from that turkey leaking into any other food in your refrigerator and contaminating okay. it. Okay. What's also important is while handling your turkey, you use one cutting board for that raw turkey and you put that away, wash it, put it away and don't use it for anything else. You should have a dedicated cutting board for raw raw turkey or raw poultry. You know, I'm, I'm guilty of that. Thank you for bringing that up again. I've heard that before and, and thank you for that. That is, that is important. Absolutely. But you know, Judge, handling your turkey doesn't end before you cook it. It, uh, it, it continues on after you're, you're done, after you've, you've finished your meal. And you know, we all like leftovers. I mean, you look at me, <laughs> I don't skip out on the second or third helping uh, during Thanksgiving. But the dangerous part in that is when turkey is left out on the counter for throughout the evening. Because you know as well as I do, if it's out, we're going to eat it. But what you should do is cool your turkey down properly, store it in the refrigerator, and pull it out as, as necessary and heat it up just in small portions while you're ready. Yeah, don't leave it outside. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're looking forward to another great Thanksgiving. and. I hope that you enjoyed this, receiving this information, and I hope better than that to have a very wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. Any closing thoughts? Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you again. Judge, you have a happy Thanksgiving. I know I will. I'm going to eat lots of food, and we we'll take these home and, and uh, enjoy these recipes and ideas with my family as well. Absolutely. Until next time.